my daughter passed away. Hold on one second. What's your name, brother? My name is G. G. All right, born, where are you from, G? I'm born and raised here, man. Kensington. Born and raised. My, my story's a little different. You know, I, I, I was around drugs my whole life, but I, I never did them. Uh, my daughter passed away five years ago, and I tried to take my own life. I did a 10 bag shot of dope and woke up. How, how did your daughter pass? I'm sorry to hear she got, that. Too. She got hit by a car. Oh. And uh, how old was she? Nine. Nine. And that's the most unnatural thing in the world, man. I don't wish that on my worst enemy. I, I, I couldn't imagine. Listen, I, I could not imagine. I, I try to explain it. I feel every single emotion the human body can feel at yeah. the same time. I and bet. that happened, man. I was happy, sad, joy, free. I, and, and then I had to hug the man that did it. And, and, what? Yeah. How? Because when you I seen what? him, I wanted to kill him. But when I finally was, got face to face, it was with like just him, strictly, face, strict man. accident. He had to live with that for the rest of yeah, the day. Yeah, I bet that's I not did, easy. Thing. I did. Do one of those I didn't like it. I didn't like it. That's my fault. I didn't do it. So it was, it was just a pure accident? Right. And, and then me becoming okay. a junkie happened, uh, you know. And you know what? Let me rephrase that. I'm not a junkie right now. Right now I'm an addict. There's different levels to this shit, man. Like this new breed of drug addict, bro, it's, it's, it's disgusting. They get high in front of kids. They get high on the steps of the L. Right out in the open, have no respect for families. Like we was a little different, bro. Even like. When I wasn't getting high, we let the drug addicts know. But we also didn't treat the drug addicts like these dudes treat us. Yeah. Like, we're the customers, bro. And you, you jumping us and, and spitting on us and calling us. Like, this shit is crazy, bro. No matter what, at the end of the day, we spend the money. Yeah. See, and I'm different. I'm not like most of these. Man. I'm not racist. I grew up with a black family. Yeah. These normal white boys let them talk to them. I'm like, I'm a grown man, bro. Whether I'm getting high or not, at the end of the day, I'm still a man. Especially now, I'm way more dangerous because I don't give a fuck no more. You feel me? Like, I own a house right in Port Richmond. And I sleep out here because I don't want to get high in front of my kids, man. So, and I can't how, how was your childhood growing up? I, <laughs> it would sound like I made it up, bro, but, like, my mom got murdered when I was seven in front of me by a crack. What happened? She was buying crack up on Master and Allegheny. Okay. And she had burnt the dealer. She didn't know he knew and he smoked it. Um, so I lost my mom when I was seven. I seen it. I How, how'd you deal with that? I don't that remember. Age? I still today don't sort remember. Of my, it out. My, I guess my brain protected me yeah. from it. And that that's what we do, um, you know, to protect ourselves. I, I can't remember my mom's face, man. Like, if you showed me a picture of her, I wouldn't be able yeah. to save my mind. But, like, and then, you know, not to sound tough, you can edit this out or whatever, but the man only did five years for killing my mom. Yeah. And when I was 12, I, I handled that situation, mm -hmm. you know. And it, I, I don't say it to be tough, man. I say it because lately with me getting high, like I just try to go to detox. I'm so tired, I want to stop. Yeah. But all the shit, like when I get sober, the shit you got to handle and deal with and confront. I've done some fucked up things, man. Yep. Um, and like I got to home for that shit bro listen i know I, i've been out here getting hung like people you know? don't understand like when i say shit i don't say it to be tough or, or like i don't get angry like i get hurt yeah at the shit that i've done man yeah. and hurt is so much worse than angry man yeah because i was i owned two pizza shops i had to worry about the balls on houses at 18. now i'm 40 and i was doing better as a child bro yeah like my kids got more money than me Wow. And it used to make me mad and sick, and now I'm so scared because I don't feel nothing. Yeah. Like, I used to be worried about dying. I don't give a fuck. I just don't care. They pulled a gun on me two days ago because they sold me an empty bag and I wouldn't leave. Yeah. I said, do what you going to do, bro. Like, I'm done. Like, I, God did everything he could do to me. Yeah. You know, he took a child, he took my mother, he took my sister, he took my brother. I was molested. You know, real shit. I, I can say it now because it is what it is. Yeah. But, like, I'm, God is all powerful. And it may sound crazy. I don't know if you're religious, and I apologize. Yeah. I believe in God. But right now, I'm to the fuck God point because I'm so mad. Listen, I, I love God. That. When my mother got killed, I was the same thing. You know what I mean? I, I just wasn't. I'm me and God wasn't person. on good terms. I'm logical. What doesn't make sense to take a baby? Yeah. And let people like me and my, my homies run around, bro. Yep. You feel me? And I don't regret a lot of shit I did out here. But I regret the things I did to my family. This shit, man, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like, if you sat and talked to me for five minutes, you wouldn't think if we turned the corner, I'd stick a gun in your face. Yeah. 
And I'm not proud of that shit, bro. And I try to tell these new addicts, like when they try to think they're us, y'all not us, bro. Y'all can't fight. Cause y'all get smacked around. It's, it's, it's bad, the new, and it's a shame, it's about race. But the new white addict is making it bad for all the white people, bro. Yeah. Like I gotta fight almost every day. The dealers, young boy, I smack you. I get quiet, come on, young boy, walk on the court. Yeah. I can fight. I'm not tough. Yeah. You might beat me, but one of us is going out in the hospital. And, and the bad thing is, I, I can't win if I win, because if I beat the shit out of him, now he's gonna yeah, shoot you can't me. Now he's gonna yeah. shoot me, because he got exactly. beat up by a white junkie. You mean? It's exactly. the only thing I'm like, damn. I'm glad I did this, bro. I always used to think people was crazy that did this shit. But this shit is real out Sometimes here, Sometimes the hell I'm talking about, you and know, you know just what? having a different type I'm of conversation. I'm not that dude that cries about, it's, uh, it's yeah. my fault. This shit right here is my fault, bro. Because yeah. I have the knowledge. And yeah. I've gotten sober. And I've come back out. So I fuck that baby. It's a disease. It is, but bro, at the end of the day, you can stop. You just have to want to. How, how did you, the man that was involved in the accident with your daughter, how did you end up meeting him? He stopped. He okay, didn't run or nothing, man. And you know, my That's wife, my wife was putting all this man. shit in my head. Yeah. And like, and I, everything I plan on doing to this man, bro, and I've done it. I'm old school Kenzo, man. The house, basement, all that shit. Yeah. You know, if you're from around here, you know. Yeah. Like, all these things I really wanted to do to this man. And one day, the elevator door opened at the hospital, bro, right after she passed. And um, I seen his face, and I just started crying, and I hugged him. That wasn't me either. Like, yeah. I, I know God's real. I just, we ain't in here. Like, God saved that man's life. But I seen his face, bro. He got to live with the fact that he, my daughter, you know yeah, I mean? that's that's a hard pill, boy. Feel me? And like, be, yeah, that's a hard people pill. People say, How I don't know how you hugged him. I don't know how I hugged him, bro. If you told me I'd hug him, I'd bet you a million dollars. Yeah. No, and that, that's also um, a very strong thing to do is to be able to forgive. Bro, you I, know don't, I don't forgive him. No, 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 but I'm saying in that moment to, to be able to, I understood. Yeah, that's the difference. To, 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 you know what I mean? And, and a lot of times I think we get it confused that forgive is we. Just see, I know you like we, we forget, we just forget about it. I don't ask it, I've taken life. Yeah, and at that moment, it dawned on me that this man it was an accident, and I've done it with no remorse, man. Yeah, I really have. Like, I was brought up if it ain't my family and my immediates, fuck you. Yeah, I don't have I don't have friends. Yeah, if you hit friend level, you're my family. I, yeah. I got a thousand cousins, little homies, nephews. Yeah, because friends will stab you in the fucking back. Yeah, and, and like I said, yeah. I, bro, we're gonna do something, bro. Um, if a friend stabs me in the back, I get hurt. Yeah. And they better wash their ass. Because yeah. I'm gonna fuck you up worse than somebody on the street. Because I'm Lou. You can ask around, you hear the shit, everybody around gets everybody well. I will get every one of these pussies well. And I'm homeless. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if I get sick, I'm gonna get more drugs. Yeah. But I got rules, bro. I won't rob nobody that's homeless living out on the street. Will I rob? Yeah. Bucks County, rich motherfucker who come down here to yeah. take you better than me? Cool. But I got morals, bro. I don't rob women. Like, the, the women out here, that's who y'all need to talk to. They're the biggest fucking gangsters out here. Yeah, I talked to a lot of them. Women like, got a whole different struggle than my, men. My sister died in 02, and she was a heroin addict. And I never even knew she was out here, bro, the whole time. Yeah. I found out she was a hooker. All, oh, my God, bro. It's crazy. Yeah. They found her down here 26 years old with a needle on her arm. Wow. I paid a boy $500 to find out where she was. He, he said, yo, you know, I'm going to show you. You can't snap. He took me and showed me. That shit fucked me up. Another thing, like, I, I just, I don't care anymore, man. I've been through so much pain in my life. Like, you know, I got four baby moms, and my last one just told me I can't see my youngest no more. Yeah. So I'm done, bro. I, I don't want to, like, I was in detox. I just left. Yeah. I don't have no desire to stop. If I die, I die. I just hope I can, I don't want nobody else to do this shit, bro. Because eventually that's where it gets. No, thank you, man. Cause that's where, no thank you. Cause that's where this shit really can go. You think the worst is OD and all that yeah, shit? Yeah, I know. The worst is not caring no more, bro. You know what I, I mean? I know what it's like, bro. And I've been out here I myself. I care about other people. Yeah. I just don't give a fuck about myself. Yep. Cause a lot of people don't belong out here, bro. Yeah. And, and, and they're not gonna make it. Yeah. They come down here, they lie, this is where I'm from. You're not, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like I just did 18 months in pit. Yeah. First day home, white boy just swelled up on me. You don't know where you at. I said, come boy. I'm from Cornwall, 509 yeah. McVay. Like, McVay, swoop swoop, bro. Yeah. I quit. Um, this ain't cool to be from here, bro. 
you feel you gotta be a different animal to be from here, bro. Absolutely. It's a switch. I try to tell people, like, I can be a nice guy, get me dope, but the scumbag I grew up is still here. It's a switch. Yeah. The fear is, once I switch it, I can't switch it back, bro. Yeah. Like, I push guns. I, I do all this shit, but I'm not a wigger. The wiggers out here piss me off. You yeah. want to make the black dude so happy and be so Joe and... Uh, listen, I don't like people because I don't like them. I don't give a fuck what color you are. You feel me? It's just so much fake shit. Like, I be you and I respect it. Like, I didn't respect homosexuality until I see the boy fag stick up for himself one day. He said, yo, I'm tired of your shit. I can take a dick so I can take a punch. Yeah. Open my eyes. Damn. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. You ain't touching me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A racist. I can't respect you saying nigga this, nigga this. That black man walking room. He said, yo, what's up, dog? I no respect for you. You a bitch. Yeah. You feel me? Like, if, if a word is out of the street that Greg don't like some mine, they go, Greg, you don't, no, I don't like you. I'm the biggest asshole you'll ever meet in your life. But I'm loyal, I'm consistent, and I'm honest. And that's what's wrong with this neighborhood, bro. There's no loyalty. Yeah. None. That's what comes with the streets, though, bro, you know? We stuck together. We outnumber these motherfuckers so bad. Yep. Bro, back in the day, we got 15 bags in a month for 120. Three, three dimes of heroin. Yeah. Now you don't get a free nickel. And they short you. Yeah. And, and the shit was shoot. Elephant drank a lot. This shit's for a 13,000 pound animal, bro. Most of us drug addicts are 130 pounds. And we're just on faith. We won't listen to the doctors say, our families say, our kids say. But this young boy said, this dope's fire. Let me run it. Yeah. That shit is insane to me, bro. And this comes from somebody who recently just started. Like, people think I've been getting high my whole life because I'm from here. No. But in the five years I've gotten high, I've probably done more drugs than most of them, motherfucker. Because I've burned two cities, shot three houses. Like, all this sand you chasing it. Like, I'm homeless by choice. Yeah. It's insane to me. Like, I could go to my crib right now. This is my name. But why would I do that? Because my wife won't leave with my kids. She won't be around. Right. Where am I making them look for somewhere to live? Yeah, I know what you mean. Then I'm gonna fuck my crib up because I'm gonna have all these drug addicts in there. Yeah. I mean, sort of better just I stay away. keep everything in I went around one time and I robbed him. Yeah. That's the most regret I ever had. I robbed my baby mother. Yeah. Who's my greatest addiction? Greatest. I robbed him. It's the only regret I have, bro. Only fucking one. I've shot, stabbed, robbed. But people I love that I hurt, bro, I never thought I would do that. Yeah. All your nevers will come true, bro. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And this goes for all you men out here eating hammer. All crazy. Y'all need to stop that shit. Bro, that shit's an epidemic, bro. In case you don't know. Yeah, bro, I know. These dudes is tricking, bro. I know, brother. I, I used to be out I here. caught my man in 15 years, bro, last yeah, week. Yeah. I get out the hell, right? I'm trying to get it fixed up because I'm wrapped up. I'm walking, I look in the back window, I see his head going to the town. I said, yes, I'm waiting for her. Seven minutes later, my man got the car. I put him right on blast. I got yeah. a whole filter. I said, yo, bro, what the fuck? He yeah. said, no, nah, man, me and Oye was talking. I said, bro, you been saying yes a whole hell of a lot. Like, I, I got no love for him now, bro. Because listen, ain't no bisexual man. Once you suck a dick or take a dick or give a dick, you a faggot, bro. Ain't no, no, I like both, none of that shit, bro. Women can be bisexual, whatever. It's because you're in there. Like, these women ain't really nice, bro. They met a fucked up dude, turned them, you know what I mean? It's not natural, bro. That's all, man. It's not natural. I love the bitches out here. Thank you, brother. I'm taking the time and sharing it.